The second graders starter portfolio is comprised of US stocks, international stocks, and US bonds. Here we'll take a look at its components, performance, and the best ETFs to use in its implementation. The second graders starter portfolio is a lazy portfolio created by financial columnist Paul Farrell. The portfolio is essentially a Bogleheads 3 fund portfolio. Farrell proposed that the second graders starter portfolio, as the name implies, is a good starter portfolio for a young investor with a long investing horizon. Using the example of a second grader who receives a $10,000 gift from his grandmother to invest. The second grader's starter portfolio utilizes broad index investing for diversification as follows. 60% total U.S. stock market, 30% total international stock market, and 10% total U.S. bond market. Compared to the S&P 500 index, the second grader's starter portfolio has delivered lower general and risk-adjusted returns with volatility only slightly lower than the S&P 500. This makes sense as small cap stocks and international stocks have suffered in recent years. I actually like the portfolio's allocation to international stocks providing a diversification benefit. Where I disagree with the second grader starter portfolio is the prescription for a total bond market fund because of the premise of the portfolio being for a young new investor. A young investor with a long investing horizon can afford to utilize longer term bonds, especially since the bond holding is small at only 10%. Specifically, long term treasury bonds would be my choice since they would offer better diversification and are superior to corporate bonds. Keep in mind a total bond market fund will usually have about 30% allocated to corporate bonds. You should be able to construct the second grader starter portfolio at any broker. I think M1 Finance is a good choice because it makes regular rebalancing seamless and easy, has zero transaction fees, and incorporates dynamic rebalancing for new deposits. I wrote a comprehensive review of the platform that I'll provide a link to in the description. Utilizing entirely low-cost Vanguard funds, we can construct the second grader starter portfolio like this. VTI at 60%, VXUS at 30%, and BND at 10%. I'll provide a link to this pie for those who happen to use M1 Finance in the description. What do you think of the second grader starter portfolio? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Some of the links below are referral links at no additional cost to you. If you choose to make a purchase or sign up for a service, after clicking through those links, I may receive a small commission. This allows me to continue producing high quality content on this channel and pays for the occasional cup of coffee. I have firsthand experience with every product or service I recommend, and I recommend them because I genuinely believe they are useful.